Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So in our APM series, in this video, we will see how we can start uh, or invoke an application, a mobile application from a particular screen, not from the home screen. So from the videos that we have watched from this series, we have seen that whenever we will launch an application, it will basically go from the home and then uh, to the required screens, you will navigate one by one by identifying the links from one screen to another screen. But oh, what happens uh, in real time let's say that uh, you are automating an application and that always uh, what you call invokes the application from the login screen okay so what you need to do so let's say that you are debugging something now what happens every time you run your script it opens from the login screen and then you have to give your username password and then click on sign in button and wait for some time to get into the home screen and then you have to navigate from that home screen to the required screen uh, so anyway we can't launch a application and then run our script from the desired screen that is not possible but we have a control uh, to a limit that we can launch the application from a particular screen okay so basically it's like um, uh, what do you call you can launch from which screen you are needed actually and then you have to go over so you have to invoke the application for sure okay so now let's see uh, what exactly we do uh, what do you call to launch a mobile application okay so we basically give all the details like the platform name device name and the app package whatever the application package that we are uh, using and then the activity so this is basically the main uh, what do you call uh, concept comes that uh, when i say api demos so this is basically the screen so if so what exactly actually happens so every screen in your mobile application is associated with a particular activity okay so by using that activity we can launch the application so now how appm does so appm basically tracks what is the app package okay so it will uh, so it will see the app package value that i have mentioned and it will identify which application it has to launch because in your what do you call mobile device or in simulators there are multiple applications are there like your contacts are there facebook whatsapp and then different applications are there but how does the ipm know which application you want to uh, invoke so that is basically uh, what you call uh, known from this particular value now once it is uh, what you call uh, it it is known that which application it has to invoke the next thing from where uh, i mean which screen particularly it should give you at the beginning so depending on the value that you are mentioning here it will launch the application from that particular screen okay so as i told each screen is associated with a particular activity now our uh, what do you call job is to find out the screen that we want to show uh, as soon as it will invoke the application and then we have to find out what is that particular activity associated with that required screen we have to identify that activity and then mention here so that it will launch the application from that particular screen okay now let me go to a uh, sample application so this is my uh, application that we are going to use that so if you see here so let's say that if i want to go to views okay and then i want to let's say that i want to scroll till so let's say list uh, or else pop-up menu so let's say that i want to go to the pop-up menu from the what you call from the view now what uh, so in a normal scenario let's say if i am using this particular code what i need to do i need to invoke the application it will invoke with the home screen as a default activity from there i have to click on views and then i have to scroll till the view pop-up menu option and then click on that so basically how many operations i am doing here i have to click on views one i have to click on the least uh, option 
2 and then I have to click on this view pop-up menu so I have to perform three particular steps so let's say that if I want I am performing some uh, operations here or I am automating this particular screen and I want to debug it so something problem is there and I am keep on running multiple times so I have to what do you call execute that particular uh, three steps uh, uh, which is kind of unnecessary at this point because I am only interested into this screen okay so here in this video I am going to show how we can avoid that three unnecessary steps and uh, directly we can what you call launch this particular screen as soon as we will invoke the application okay so our first job is to uh, to identify which screen we want to invoke okay now we are identified that one the second job is to find the activity that is associated with this particular screen now how do we know uh, which uh, what do you call which activity is associated so for that I have already mentioned uh, how we can what do you call get the app package and app activity of a particular application for that we are going to use a, a small application mobile application that is apk info okay you can get it from uh, like uh, if you search on online apk info uh, dot apk apk info dot apk file then you will get that so download and drag and drop to your simulator which will install so let me just uh, launch that particular application apk info okay so it is updating the application list and here you can see this is uh, api demos that i'm using now now i will just uh, what i did i just long press on that uh, particular option and then i'm selecting on detailed information now here you can see there is a section called activities okay so here if you scroll down let me scroll down so here views okay so first thing is that views because that screen is not a direct screen it should be under views so let me go to see here you can see the views under that views I have to find it out the list okay so let me go to the list so normally this is a sample application so I can't ask to the developer so if you are working on a real-time application then you can directly ask to your developer and uh, they will inform you with the app activity so here you can see the view and then see there is a uh, this is io.ipm.android.apis so till this one is my app package okay as you can see dot apis and after that dot view dot pop up menu one is my particular screen that I am interested okay so what I will do I'll create a new class don't want to use there and yeah one more important thing and this is only applicable for android operating system uh, i mean android mobiles okay android mobile applications this is not applicable for ios uh, devices because ios don't have the app package and app activity it has only bundle id we have already discussed that in our previous videos okay so let me just create a new package and let's say change activity okay some name and here let me create a new class and here i will say change activity or launch different activity something some name I'm giving and I'm making it as a main method for timing and what I will do I'll copy paste this everything here okay and then I'll copy this particular thing because this is common right so what I will do here okay so capability new capability and then I'm giving the device name and here I don't need this one okay and here what I will do I'll change the activity that we have found from here so I think it is gone oh no it is here so dot view dot pop up menu one okay so what I will do dot view dot view dot 
capital P pop up menu one pop up menu one right so because the problem is that if I don't have the proper activity name then it won't launch that a particular application okay so here okay I don't want any kind of uh, static because I'm just directly calling that one and here I will throw the exception fine okay so now if you see uh, I am launching from that pop-up menu so let me go to the and okay now let me run this particular application and here let's see that so it will launch directly from to that screen see here so it directly launched from here okay so basically what happens this saves but uh, some time while you are debugging because when you are uh, really working or really automating the complete scenario you might not want this one only uh, when you are debugging and you want to go to directly a particular screen you can use this particular method okay this particular way of accessing the or customizing your activity okay so hope this quick video helped you to uh, learn something so thanks for watching and do subscribe